Right now it is time to answer your legal questions. As always, Judge Muriel Robinson is here. Always love it when you are with us thank and the you. phone lines always light up. So we will start with Martin. Martin, thank you for watching and go ahead with your question, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Your Honor, I was wanting to know, uh, I had custody of my granddaughter, me and my wife, for nine and a half years. Wow. And we had a little, we was wanting them to come by and see the child. And the parent, the, the mother or the father would never come by. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we had her for nine and a half years and we went to court to get them to come and see her. And it come around, they gave the child back to the mother. And now that she's got her, and they never did pay me no child support, and they should have had. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering how I'd go about getting that. Well, you can go to the child support services if you live in Davidson County and uh, tell them the situation. I'm hoping you had a decree of custody and a court order. Um, but if you didn't, you can ask them. They'll furnish a lawyer for you and, and total up how long you've had the child, and they can file a petition to set the child support and let them start paying on an arrearage judgment that you could ask the court for. Now, this all depends on whether or not you had a legal custody order from a court, either a circuit court, chancery, uh, chancery court, or juvenile court. So that's important that you actually had a court order visitation, uh, court order custody that they did not visit and that you know that they were supposed to pay you some child mm. support okay. now. You can always ask for a reimbursement that's in uh, up to the judge, it's judicial discretion, but okay. start right. there first to get information. All right, we've got Kathy with us right now. Kathy, if you will, go ahead with your question, please. Uh, yes, um, about two years ago, um, my son and his girlfriend, they needed some money. And uh, so I didn't have any money to give them, but I did have my wedding rings. And they said they'd pay me back. Well, she said she'd pay me back in a couple of weeks. Well, it's been two years now. And she brought some rings by, but they weren't mine. So is there anything I can do about this? I'm afraid not. Uh, uh, you didn't draw up any contracts that, that, that they were supposed to return the rings and they were going to be the same rings and whatever. It was just so loose-ended you probably don't have any memorandum of the loan and I doubt if you'll ever determine where your rings are. So mm -hmm. next time, please don't do that. Wow, yeah. Uh, you've got to maintain some kind of security. and. Uh, uh, and they're not going to tell you what they did with the ring. So uh, that's really sad, and I'm sorry that you're suffering that loss of your wedding ring. Really tough there. All right, right now we've got Jan with us. Jan, thank you for watching, and go ahead with your question, please. Okay, uh, what can be done to settle probate that happened five years ago when all parties agreed upon it and the, uh, the attorney that was appointed for both sides won't do anything? I understand it could be in limbo for years. Well, uh, if the attorney's not uh, working toward closing uh, the probated estate, then you can go to the clerk's office of the probate court and tell them you're an interested party or um, maybe a legal heir from the last will and testament or uh, the, the uh, order of letters of administration when there is no probated mm -hmm. will. Okay. So go right to the clerk's office, tell them you want to see that file, you want to know why it hadn't been settled and the disbursements made or an accounting made, and if nothing's going on, then you could uh, hire a lawyer or you might could do it yourself, file a motion to have the court relieve that attorney okay. and appoint someone that would close the estate out. All right. Yeah. Uh, if the folks need other legal information, Legal Services of uh, Tennessee is always a, a great resource. It is. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. And they'll get you to the lawyer that, that uh, specializes in the case that you, particular case that you have or are interested in. Okay. All right. And if anybody with child support questions? They can go to the call the child support um, uh, service. That I, I don't know that is number it PSI, now. I believe. It's PSI. It. Okay. Or the clerk's office of their county, and mm -hmm. they can direct them to the child support collection agency, which right. is a free service. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. So always think Thank you very Thank much. You. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get through today on the phone lines, remember Judge Robinson is here the third Tuesday of every month.